my friends and welcome back to another video as you can tell by the timer in the upper right hand corner it is 1009 the nintendo switch online expansion pack just released i went ahead and purchased it downloaded the n64 and sega genesis and i figured with how like hot button topic this has been a lot of people are against the expansion pack i figured we'd take a dive a, a deep look into this and see if we can discover if this uh expansion pack is worth the money or not let's go ahead and check it out now sadly for the testing purposes i am going to be using the nintendo switch pro controller i tried to get a nintendo 64 controller uh, but i don't feel like spending the outrageous amount of money they're asking for on ebay but i think old faithful will do just fine here so just in case you've been living under a rock and you have no idea what the nintendo switch online expansion pack comes with it comes with the baseline nintendo switch online which has nes super nintendo games and lets you play games online but now it also comes with a selection of nintendo 64 games sega genesis games and it comes with animal crossing new horizons happy home paradise the full game as long as you have the online service all at a price point of 50 dollars per year in comparison to the baseline Nintendo Switch Online, which is $20 per year, so a $30 price hike. So with all the baseline stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and fire up the actual games. As you all know, or maybe you don't, the Nintendo 64 is absolutely my favorite console of all time. I have a rather large and extensive N64 game collection, and the, the opportunity to be able to play the uh, these on the Switch to be able to play online with friends, this was an absolute no-brainer for me. So we're going to go on to one player. Obviously, I have no friends right now, but this is the selection that it comes with. And, you know, it's not a huge selection, but it's got some great ones. Let's just dive right into the games. We're going to go with Super Mario 64, even though I have this on the uh, hey, the All-Star Collection or whatever it was called. What is confirmed in-game menu selection? What is... And here we have it. Now, what I don't know, I don't know if this is the, the Shindo version. I'm sorry, sorry for my pronunciation. The Shindo version does not have BLJ's backwards long jumping, so it doesn't let you uh, do zero star and 16 star speedruns. Yeah, so I don't know which version this is. I'm I'm sure more will come out on this, uh, but let's just take a few minutes to play, play this classic. I mean, right away, it's super... Oh, okay, the controls are... Okay, can I change the controls a little bit? Let's see if I can... Hey. The controls are a bit unique. Uh, the jump is with the A instead of B, which, you know, uh, I, I would I would prefer jump to be uh, mapped to the B button, but thankfully you can map buttons in the Nintendo Switch menu. We did not... Get the Lakitu skip, sadly, but you know, that's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But right away, this feels really good. Uh, I'm, I'm not noticing any input lag. The biggest thing is getting used to the controls because I don't feel like mapping my controller differently. Uh, let's just, uh, just let's get a star here. Let's see if we can do, uh, let's see if we can do this one glitch. Let's see, let's put on my big boy gamer pants. I missed it. I want redemptions. So let's try this again. Here we go. Oh, there we go. We still got it, baby. We still got it. I was just thinking about why this feels so weird. So you can check by pausing and then pressing X. You can see the button mapping. You can't change it from here. Again, you can change from the menu, but this is showing the N64 controller, which I have one right here in my hand. And if you look closely, the green button is B and the blue button is A, but on the Switch Pro controller, the B and the A are backwards. Why they didn't map the A and B to Y and B to actually more mimic the N64 controller, I'm not sure, but but that's definitely disappointing because you don't want to have to always go into the menu to... to button swap honestly for me one of the best parts about this service is the ability to suspend basically create save states at any point because i i love the ability to especially not just not really for mario 64 but for some of the other uh n64 games we're going to be taking a look at creating suspend points will be very nice uh ocarina of time 
is a great example of that, which is a, I guess that's a nice transition point. Let's fire up Ocarina of Time, shall we? Can you feel it? Can you feel the nostalgia if you're a 90s kid like me, man? This title screen, the music, I, there's just something about this that never gets old. I will say the cutscenes look great, it looks sharp. Ah, looks definitely a lot better than playing on my original Nintendo 64, <laughs> that's for sure. Man, I am just flooded with memories every time this scene plays where Navi's flying around. I remember when I saw this as an eight-year-old kid, my mind was blown. Like, I, I couldn't believe this was in a video game and I was playing, I got to explore this lush landscape. Um, it's just every time I see this, I'm just filled with memories. All right, so now that we have control of Link, yeah, the controls are still a little bit backwards. It's not quite as bad as with Mario 64 because Mario 64 re relies so much on jumping. I guess Nintendo really wants you to buy their uh, N64 controller, <laughs> uh, if you will, that, uh, that they're selling for the Nintendo Switch Online. A small little detail for me personally, and again, this, is, this was a big reason why I wanted to get this. Um, yes, I do have my N64 console, but the ability, the ability to be able to play on the Switch to have the suspend points like we were talking about, I really can't wait. My uh, daughter just turned five, and she's really starting to get into gaming, and I want to be able to share some of these classic gaming experiences that I, has a ki I had as a kid. Ocarina of Time, Mario 64, Mario Kart, etc. The N64, as I said, is my favorite console of all time, and I want to be able to share some of that love for that console and some of those great adventures that you could have in the N64. The ability to be able to do that on the Switch, it makes it a lot easier and uh, more convenient for sure. There's the giant meatballs. I always thought those looked like giant meatballs, but yeah, I'm just really excited to share some of these experiences with my five-year-old and down the road with my three-year-old. And I hope they enjoy these experiences as much as I did when I was a kid. But yeah, we got Link's little rinky-dink sword here. I think this is a good stopping point. Let's check out some more games. I mean, we gotta check out the classic Mario Kart 64 next. Now, I'm gonna be the first to tell you, I think Diddy Kong Racing is the superior kart racing game. Oh boy. Uh, let's just dive right into 150cc, shall we? I, I do believe Diddy Kong Racing is the superior kart racing on the N64. That being said, I don't think... Mario Kart 64 is a bad game in the slightest. No, my friends, I think Mario Kart 64 is a great game. And what has me really excited, and one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to get the Nintendo Switch expansion pack online thing, was the ability to play these games online with friends. And uh, to me, that, that makes it worthwhile. To be able to play Mario uh, Kart 64's battle mode online is, is gonna be great. Now, I will say the control scheme for this is dreadful man because here's how i'm doing this a is gas to throw my item is x and to hop is the front shoulder button and it is uh it's a really weird control setup and all these buttons can be mapped differently uh in the nintendo switch homepage. like you can you can change it but it's really inconvenient i do wish you had the ability to uh change the controls you know you could pause it and there should be a menu that says change your controls if you want to i, I do think nintendo is um not doing a service to people that are buying uh their product you should be able to map the controls any way you want looking like we're gonna get first i do want to mention something that if you're watching this live uh on youtube right around the time of release i will be live a lot of the day live over on Twitch. I, I plan on testing the online features with viewers. We're going to be checking out Mario Kart 64 online, Mario Tennis online. I don't remember what other games have online play, but if you want to come over and check it out, I'd love to see you over there. Oh yeah, time for some Mario Tennis. Holy rip, I've never noticed what Toad looks like in this. I absolutely love Mario Tennis. I'll never forget being able to transfer my data from the Game Boy Color Mario Tennis to the N64 Mario Tennis. It was, it was fantastic. I really hope Nintendo does bring Game Boy and Game Boy Color games to the Nintendo Switch uh, online so that we 
can maybe possibly do that because the Game Boy version of Mario Tennis is so good. It's an RPG. I do believe Mario Tennis is the first appearance of Waluigi and Daisy. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. <laughs> I know you will, uh, but let's uh, let's start with uh, Paratroop. Always a big fan of Paratroop. Man, I love this this tennis game is so much fun. Absolute blast! There we go. Fifteen love, baby. Disagree with that game. Lob shots. You can do drop shots. Oh yeah, that's a nice forehand. Nice solid forehand. This man's unbeatable. This man's unbeatable! Oh, I, gave him a, I gave him a shot for a power blast. Power blast 5,000. Oh, this is, a, this is a good rally we got going on. Me and Baby Mario, solid ra- Oh, ace! Way to end it with an ace. Now, I don't like being that. I'm going to change the camera options so that it's always facing me. Ooh. That was, that was a nice, nice serve. Nice serve. All right, all right, all right. That's game point. Going to have to be clutch daddy here. There we go. Nice shot. Time for a big fat deuce. I do my best work at deuce time. Oh yeah, nice ball. Did you see that? Right in the corner, watch this shot. Right in the corner. That was a bad angle, but it was right in the corner. Baby Mario's scared, you can feel it. You can feel the momentum shifting. That's Mario Tennis, arcadey, Mario Flair. Super fun, can't wait to play this online with friends. How about some Star Fox 64? Now I will be the first to admit I am not the biggest Star Fox fan. It's about time you showed up, Fox. You're the only hope for our world. <laughs> but what I was saying, I might not be the biggest Star Fox fan, but I am a fan, and uh, it's a nice addition to have on here. I know there's a lot of huge Star Fox fans, so this is really cool. And Star Fox has uh, multiplayer in it, so this is another one you could play with friends, potentially, if you want it. Slippy here. I'm okay. Our boy Slippy. We protect Slippy at all costs. We don't, we don't worry about Falco or, and, and, and Pepper. Pepper? Peppy? Pepper? Whoa, what's Pepper? We, we, we just worry about our boy Slippy. Slippy, get back here! Slippy, get back here! Slippy, watch out! Bogey on your tail! I got you, Slippy. I got you. Use the brakes. Press the C down. Okay, wait. What's C down? C down is the... See, that's just weird to me. C down is X, which is the top button on the controller, which I... Okay. And that works. I missed a secret there. Uh, but okay, we'll make that work. We got the checkpoint. Hey, uh... I didn't mean to shoot you. Get the one behind me. Something's wrong with the G diffuser. Sounds like a you problem. I could use some help here, Falco. I'm trying, Falco, you bum. Oh man, I'm gonna have to back off. Yeah, you go back off. You leave. You leave. You leave the dirty work for me. There it is, the classic. Do barrel roll. See, I think that's worth the price of admission. That's worth the $50 price point. Just to see, do a barrel roll in full HD. <laughs> I, yeah, I gotta learn the controls better. And until I get an N64 controller, I gotta deal with it or uh, map the controls differently. But there we go, mission one complete. We'll take it. Let's check out the We're next one. Out. How about a very quick round of Dr. Mario 64? Now, I have personally never played 
Dr. Mario 64. Very cool though, this one does have multiplayer. So if you have a friend that has the online expansion pack, you can play this with them. Um, I'm just gonna go with classic. I don't wanna embarrass myself too bad because, oh, I'm gonna, I, this, I'm gonna be embarrassed regardless. I'm so bad. <laughs> I played this on stream not too long ago and made, made an absolute mockery of myself. Um, so this should go absolutely horrendously. Oh no, oh my gosh. I'm just, I'm gonna be totally honest with you and this is gonna come to no surprise to anybody. I'm dreadful at puzzle games. I just, I don't see things that really good puzzle players can see very easily. I don't see. I try. I do my best, obviously. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm pretty. I'm not gonna embarrass myself any longer. Doctor Mario, great puzzle game if you like it. Check it out. Don't make fun of me too bad in the comments, please. Now we're gonna check out one of the cutest games ever made, Yoshi Story. Just listen to this main menu music. Dang, it doesn't it it doesn't get cuter than that. It, it just doesn't. <laughs> All right, so Yoshi's story is it's very unique. It's uh plays out like a storybook, big picture book as you can tell. But depending on how you do in the level changes the route that you take. So this has like uh, a lot of replay value. You can select your Yoshi, which basically is how many lives you have. I don't think, from what I remember, they don't have different abilities. They just represent like your lives. Um, red's my favorite color, so obviously we're gonna pick the red Yoshi. Uh, I, I already forget what our lucky fruit was because I wasn't paying attention. You'll, you'll earn eight stars. Do a ground pound near a shy guy while you're super happy. I can do that. I'm not gonna worry about getting all the same fruit. You get bonus points for collecting all of the same fruit in a level, which is really hard to do. I've seen it done before. Oops, again, gotta get used to the controls. But yeah, this game still looks and sounds great. Miss Warp, wake up Miss Warp and kiss her sisters to skip between them. All right, okay. <sighs> Sounds a little, I mean, I never played this game a whole lot as a kid growing up. This wasn't like my go-to video game. Um, but I do remember renting it a little bit back in the day. There's our friend Poochie. We ground pound and we have saved our good pal. Look how cute Poochie is. All right, Poochie. Yeah, Poochie finds fruit for us, which is great. One more fruit. I think that's the end of the level from what I... Oh, no. The level ends when you get all the fruit. Again, it's been so long since I played Yoshi's Story. But that's right, you play six levels and the levels change depending on uh, things that you do throughout the level. And you know, this is more like a high score game. It's a short game, it's very short, it can be beaten very quickly uh, and you just try to get your best score. My right, friends, we are now gonna check out Sin and Punishment. I believe this is the first time it's ever been released uh, officially in, on American consoles. This was a Japanese N64 exclusive. I do recommend, even if you decide not to get the Nintendo Switch online expansion pack, uh, if you have any interest in N64 games, this is a must play game. It's absolutely incredible. And uh, you'll see it's it's hectic, it's chaotic. And uh, gosh, I, the controls are gonna be really, really hard to get used to <laughs> compared to playing on the N64. Wow, the controls are just absolutely dreadful on this. Uh, again, it's just a huge shame. This game is very intuitive when you actually play on the N64. Like the shoulder buttons jump, uh, the C-sticks move you left and right. And I don't remember, I think 
the Z button on the back shoots, but this is an absolute mess of controls on the Nintendo Switch Online. Very, very, very disappointing. This game definitely feels like it's straight out of an arcade from the 90s, but it's on the N64, and uh, yeah, I, I, I know I keep gushing about it, but I do highly recommend it. And I highly recommend playing it with the proper control scheme, not the control scheme I'm playing with right now, because this is just absolute butts. Saki. Oh, Saki. Good morning, Saki. Good morning, Iron. Oh yeah, it also has really good voice acting. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, an unexpected addition to the N64 online expansion is this game called Winback Covert Operations. This game, uh, it's, uh, it's really good. I have honestly not played this since I was really little, which is crazy how it's been this long since I've played it. But this game, it kind of revolutionized the cover mechanic that is very standard in a lot of modern day shooters. Again, the controls, I, I'm not gonna remember the controls. How do I shoot? There we go. I don't remember, how do I pick up items? Oh, that, that's how we duck. Oh yeah. We can get down, baby. I remember this dude's name is like John Luke or something, because I remember as a kid in elementary school, uh, pretending on the playgrounds, we gave ourselves like superhero secret agent names. And I, I gave myself the name John Luke after playing this game. <laughs> it's all about the memories, right? Ow! Didn't realize that was explosive. Just mad chilling up there. Got him. Oh, beautiful shot. Well, yeah, hopefully you're seeing some of the charm from this game. Definitely takes uh, some inspiration from Metal Gear Solid, but it also does its own unique things as well. But yeah, that is all the N64 games at the launch of the expansion pack. But, however, there are more games confirmed. Banjo-Kazooie, F-Zero X, Paper Mario, Mario Golf, Majora's Mask, among others. A couple N64 games that I personally want to see added. One, the obvious one is Super Smash Brothers. The ability to play the original online with up to three other friends would be a dream come true for me as it's my favorite Smash Brothers. I feel that one has a really good chance of happening, but one that I really want and it probably doesn't have a really great chance of happening is Mystical Ninja 2 or Goemon's Great Adventure as it was called here in the United States. That game is absolutely incredible. It's a two and a half D platformer that no one really talks about. You can play it multiplayer, two people at one time. It's chaotic, it's crazy. And again, I would love to see that added. Make it come true, Nintendo. My main focus on the video was going to be the N64 games, but let's really briefly take a look at the Sega Genesis games, just so you can get an idea if you're on the fence so you can see what games are at least offered. There are quite a few good ones, I will say. Castlevania Bloodlines, Contra Hardcore, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Echo the Dolphin, Golden Axe, Shining Force, Rise Star, Fantasy Star 4, Musha Gunstar Heroes, Shinobi 3, Sonic 2, Streets of Rage, and Strider. Streets of Rage 2, oh my goodness. All right, friends, so let's recap, go over what we learned, talk about the pros and cons, and then you can decide whether you think it's worth it or not. What we learned is that there is a very nice selection of N64 and Sega Genesis games, albeit very small, but Nintendo has already told us that more games are coming for, especially for Nintendo 64, and there are some really, really good N64 games coming down the road, especially ones that have really good multiplayer as well, so you can play with friends. Also, it does need to be mentioned that you will get access to the new Animal Crossing Island home design or whatever it was called. That is a huge selling point for me. My wife and my oldest daughter absolutely love Animal Crossing. My daughter watched the Nintendo Direct, the Animal Crossing Direct, and she was just floored and super excited. So for me, it's worth it also for that. That's a nice added bonus. If you have Animal Crossing, that's a nice bonus. If you don't, that's really not going to sway you uh, to, to buy this service. So quickly, the pros, the ability to play these games on the Switch without your N64 is a big pro for me. 
the ability to play these games online with friends, or at least certain games to be able to play online with friends. That's the biggest selling point for me. As a streamer, I have a lot of streamer friends who are going to be getting this, and the ability to be able to play with them is going to be super fun. And that was a huge selling point for me. Yeah, I know you can do that with emulators, but it's kind of a pain to set up. This is easy. You could just hop right in and play. The ability to have suspend points. Again, I know you can do that on emulators. But again, these are nice, small selling points for me. More pros, the selection of Sega Genesis games are really good. They're not the big reason why I was going to get the uh, expansion pack, but it is a nice selection and there's more multiplayer games that you can play in there. Then lastly, the big pro for me is the ability to get that Animal Crossing game for free. It comes with the service, it's not actually free. Uh, Cause I was gonna have to buy that regardless. So the fact that we have that, as long as we have the service, if we cancel the service, then we won't be able to play the game anymore. But that, that is standard with like Game Pass and PlayStation Online. That's just how the services work. And now the cons. Is this worth the $50 price point for the year? Upping from 19 to 50, a $30 price increase for the year? Debatable. For me, it is worth it. It's not going to be worth it for everybody. I totally understand for those that don't think it's worth it. I'm not trying to pressure you into feeling that it is. But again, the ability to play these games online with friends, uh, especially the N64 games, and with the games that are be going to be coming out for the N64 um, Nintendo Switch Online, it's going to be worth it for me. Another con that I was harping on the whole time, the control schemes, especially on the N64 games, absolutely brutal. And to not be able to change them on the fly within the actual menu of the N64 games is just a tragedy. The fact that you have to go into the settings, manually adjust them for each individual game is just, it's just bad. It's just really bad. Another con is the selection. When you compare it to uh, Xbox's Game Pass or PlayStation's online, is there as many games offered? Actually, there's probably a comparable amount of games. However, these are all retro games. Uh, a lot of people will say they don't hold their value as much as like newer AAA games. Uh, some of these games are really rare and hard to find, so there is that to be said, but they are retro games. A lot of them aren't super long, your mileage is gonna vary, so yeah, there is that. Are you getting as much bang for your buck like you are with Xbox's Game Pass or PlayStation's Online? Again, up for debate, probably not, but there is that. And finally, the last con is, we don't know how many games are going to be added to these services. They showed us some that were coming up, but is there gonna be more after that? What is the time frame in between these releases? Are we gonna have to wait like months and months? Are they gonna string this out so you have to buy this service for another year? I don't know, we'll have to wait and see, uh, but hopefully that's not the But anyways, that's the Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack Overview. I hope this was at least helpful, maybe a little bit entertaining. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Please be kind in the comments. I've read some of the comments on Nintendo's actual video where they go over the Nintendo Switch Online stuff and it's a bloodbath in there. Please be kind. But no, seriously, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you're going to be around, I'll be live on Twitch majority of the day playing all of these games, answering your questions. I would love to see you over in the Twitch live stream. But yeah, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and until next time, take care.